Well, this is the day that I'm gonna try to process all my five fleeces left before getting more. <laughs> So this is a nice, uh, it's hard to say with the iPad's camera, but it's a nice uh, deep uh, olive green. I'm, I am dyed, I dyed those. I have some down there that are drying. I have 12 of those uh, little blue racks, so uh, they'll be filled up by the end of the day. I have some more fleeces dying in the oven, in the house. Now, not to fall off. Uh, Sorry, we're going. There's one more here, and this is the, my tumbler. So right now there's a fleece of uh, BFL crossed with uh, well blue face lacer crossed with border lacer. BFL BL. I don't know if you can see everything that's falling off of it. You can see that it's pretty filthy. The paper here will show you more what's coming off. So, so much falling off that I would have to pick it all by hand and with my picker. So, right now, all I have to do is leave uh, my fleece and that baby for about half hour one side and half hour the other side. So, a total of an hour. And uh, it saves me a day of work. So right now there's uh, one fleece in there. It's a uh, blue face laser cross BFL. I think I'm just repeating myself. And uh, by the meantime, I had some that was washed, dyed, and carded. So on my Louis 90 right here, I have uh, some uh, roving that I remove. Uh, from my pet ring triple card, the super card, sorry, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm spinning it to be a two ply worth of weight. I blend it with uh, hello, Brendan. This is my my wonderful son. That's my oh, that's the tumbler. It's uh, it removes the hay in the fleece. Remember last year, Uncle Richard made it, huh? Richard and Joanne, they made this machine for mommy. See? Yeah, really. <laughs> now I like to be. You like to be outside and it's beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's summer. It's springtime, not summer yet, but it feels like a bit like summer today. And uh, yeah, I'm, so I'm going to sit down and spin uh, that yarn here as a worsted weight. I had blend that um, it's same. It's a it's a, still the same uh, kind of fleece as uh, buffet lacer and border cross. With uh, I add some uh, silk in it and uh, a little bit of uh, tinsel. So uh, just for uh, it's really smooth. I just took the locks. I opened the locks and align well aligned on my carter. So it's uh, almost uh, spun worsted. I could say semi worsted. Uh, very 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 soft and uh, I can't wait to have a beautiful skin of it there you go I'm not working today in my backyard why because um, my husband is off of course we relay on the baby but it's easier for me to get in and out of the house from the front or the front door right now and um, the back door is on the side in the back, it's more of a through the sunroom. And it's getting more complicated. And also, every spring, <laughs> Brenda and Mommy's filming. Every spring, I like to spend a, a day or two in the front yard. Um, I enjoy seeing curious people like, stopping and asking me what I'm doing. And I love to explain my passion of uh, fiber. Who knows, I might get uh, one or two person hook it too because I feel kind of lonely in my passion in my village. There's not many people who proceed fiber actually. I think I'm the only one uh, in my village. Maybe the area there is. Um, there's a lot of meters and weavers and crocheters, but no one really do what I do. So I'm hoping one day I'll get someone say, can I join you? <laughs> All right, so this is a beautiful April day. 
And I'm gonna sit down and try to spin some yarn. Oh, and here is uh, my dear husband with my dear lovely baby girl. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we're multitask parents here. All right, thank you. Oh, and it's the big garbage day too, so we're getting rid of a lot of stuff. Hopefully we'll be recycled by scrappers. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day. And uh, just in case someone asks, uh, I do not have the plan of the tumbler. It's been a long trials of and fails and try again and fails for a year to build it. Not the, uh, the frame itself. It's more about the motor, which motor to use and what to do, actually. And so uh, we have a dryer motor, but it was spinning too fast. The first time it was like sticking the fiber around. So my friend kind of modified the motor to make it go slowlier and can go on both sides. So it's clockwise and counterclockwise. I use um, the mesh part. It's um, rust free. It's not like the chicken poop because they, those have a little uh, spikes. This one it has no spikes and it's uh, an inch diameter. It's good for sheep fleeces, but uh, I'm gonna have another uh, drum made for alpaca fleece, which is gonna be the diameter of a half an inch fleece. Uh, we're working on that, the weather, if we just make the panels interchangeable, like, or make another drum, because also we have to think about the space saving there. Cost material in all for it was $600 Canadian. Uh, for this, that handmade one. Um, the base here, it's an old hospital bed. So the wheels goes front and back, left and right. It's very versatile, it locks, it's very sturdy. Uh, and also handle well the bumps of the ground uh, up to the shed. So um, that was a very good uh, thinking of my friends for that. And pretty much there's no standard on the height, it was just for us to make sure. <laughs> it was just sure to make it. I want, I'm sorry, I repeat that. We just want to make sure that it fit in my shed because I do not own a garage, I just had a shed for now. And uh, we're working also to build me a summer art uh, artisan meal, more towards the mini meal. The only um, the only thing now we have need to go is get the permit from the city because it's a village, but it's uh, still a city. So it's, it's not be done in the country that you do whatever you want on your land. And also um, how to hook up uh, far from home uh, from my house uh, hot water. If uh, one of you have a suggestion for me how to get my hot water uh, far from my home, uh, gas is not an option here. It's way too expensive. So, um, um, and solar panel as well. So, if anyone has a miracle uh, suggestion for me, I'm all up to it. Thank you very much for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye bye.